Hey, what's good, Magic Gang? Welcome back to my channel here at Magic Got Tea. Today, I'm going to be looking into what exactly is the message that you need to know today. And as always, I'm going to start this reading. Mm. I'm already getting downloads. <laughs> I'm going to start this reading with my very own Oracle, The Chosen Ones 144. If you feel guided to purchase this deck, uh, it's in the link in the description box as well as pinned in the comments. But this is a very powerful deck for The Chosen Ones, okay? Those of you that feel like you're psychic, you're clairvoyant, you're a healer, you're meant to do things that are bigger than what others perceive about you, this deck is very powerful. It will help you activate, okay? Who you are subconsciously and bring that out so it's going straight into this reading spirit wants to tell you about a miracle is coming your way so if this is already you and you're feeling this message comment below a miracle is coming my way but before that miracle comes there's this message that we're going to find out why it's coming out but it's about your family members and some evil enemies that are around you okay give me one more shaman this card has been coming up a lot here which is yeah you have angels protecting you somebody coming below no weapon from against me shall prosper angels are protecting me hello what's up i there's a wish coming true but before it's like you got it you're gonna have to slay your enemies you're gonna have to slay these demons somebody comment below i'm slaying these demons i'm slaying my enemies and ironically i'm wearing my tanjiro earrings from demon slayer so shout out to my anime lovers out there but definitely i'm speaking to a light worker okay and the shaman energy here that i'm picking up it's your healing powers that you have that i feel like there's some sort of uh mystical abilities that were bestowed to you from your bloodline okay but there seems to be like a cult of family members that are doing something secretly behind your back okay so you need to watch out for these enemies let's let's see somebody comment below god please expose to me my enemies keep them at bay all right keep them away <laughs> so let's get to the tea y'all gotta hire me who gonna fire me right all right, let's see. Ancestor Spirit is by well. Like, please tell me about this um, enemies here. Your enemies might be working with a family member or a tribe here, or they might just be these people. Okay, so I'm hearing witches. Okay, and that's my look. Look at the the nine eleven, right? Archangel Michael. So I'm getting there's like. Something inside of you that's like resurrecting some witchy powers, some mystical powers, right? You could be um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There's like a witch in your family or a warlock. This is like a divine, uh, not a divine feminine, a, a feminine energy. Sunflowers could be significant right now. This could be Oshun. Okay, it's like they know you carry the power of Oshun. If this is you, comment below. I carry the power of Oshun. I carry the light of Oshun. They know you got some mystical power. Because this reminds me of Oshun with all this yellow and the sunflowers. Every time I see that, I feel Oshun energy. But like I said, I'm getting witchy warlock powers, mystical powers. But it's like uh, you have some powers from Oshun's bloodline or something. Yeah, look, the magician. Yeah, this is about mystical powers here. This is about magic, warlock, witches, Okay, so your enemies are conjuring. I'm hearing a cauldron. They're conjuring, doing spell work. Okay, spells and magic and stuff. They could be doing blood sacrifices, I heard, while on an altar. It's like they have they have your, your name or your picture on an altar. This is creepy. Your birthday could be on 411. Okay, I'm hearing somebody here has a garden and they're gathering herbs. Some specific enemy here that's working with a family member, a witch in your family. Um, with the eight of swords on their shaman, look, there's the nine of there's the nine of cups. So I am definitely telling you, I'm gonna put this card here. Spirit is telling you your dreams are coming true. Affirm it in the comments below because you already got enough negative energy that you're fighting and standing up against. Okay, my dreams are coming true. But with this shaman energy, somebody doesn't want you to use this shamanistic power, this mystical powers that you have that come from your bloodline, okay? They're using something to bind you and restraining you from 
using this power. There's something you're not seeing, which is why you're watching my channel, because I, I exposed all these people. The Ace of Wands. It's like they're stopping you from receiving your uh, the torch. It's like your ancestors are passing you the torch of a power here. But you can't grab it even though it's being given to you because you there someone here these enemies these family members are using spell work to keep you trapped or imprisoned let me know what this means to you in the comments below if you'd like to share we have virgo energy gemini as well here with the hermit okay i'm hearing you're the black sheep if this is you coming below i am the black sheep of the family you're the light worker, okay? I feel like the only way to break this curse or magic that's being done is by you exploring and who you are, like going deep within yourself, okay? You need to just go within, go in, find your inner light. But I do feel like somebody wants you to be alone, spend time alone, to be isolated. And you know the hermit here. I'm getting um, a wizard, Okay, somebody here is a wizard. I'm getting this movie, Lord of the Rings, as well. And then we have Scorpio Death with the Three of Pentacles. So somebody is definitely going to someone to get this done. There's a teamwork happening here. And there's an energy exchange. I give you something. Somebody made a deal. Somebody made a deal here. And this somebody is an enemy of you, to you. And the, it's, it involves either one or several family members, something with, with your bloodline here. And someone made a deal. This could be two or three people, right? But I'm getting three or more, actually. Three or, three or more people. Like I said, a coven or a cult. I don't know why I keep getting that kind of energy. In order to have some sort of energy exchange, Could be a fire sign. I'm getting the situation is becoming heated. We have the Eight of Cups. This could be people that you've already moved away from. Yeah, because you could have felt that they were jealous of you. This is people that are secretly competing with you. Trying to sabotage. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But again, Spirit is saying take your sword out. Right? Be smart. You got to be the king of swords. You got to be smart. Okay? You got to think with your with your head here as well as your intuition in order to take these evil people out. In order to cut them away from your life completely. Comment below. I cut these evil people away from my life. God, please remove these enemies from my life. Ancestors, please protect my mystical powers. Because I'm really getting like they're trying to do something with the death card. Somebody could literally be doing here. A family member, like I said, a witch, wizard, warlocks. There's a few of them involved. Okay, could even be a father figure here or a cult leader. But with this Scorpio energy here and the death, I feel like um, they could be doing death spells. Sacrifices. I see sacrifices here of things I won't say here on YouTube, but... It's, it, it's pretty dark, actually. This is very dark magic here. Yeah. But you're getting justice here with Libra energy. You're getting justice. Somebody comment below. Karma is coming to them. Whatever they do for me... Whatever they do towards me is backfired. Because with the Eight of Wands here, I feel like there's just a lot that they keep throwing to you. You might receive a message here from somebody that passed away or an ancestor. They're going to try to communicate with you and tell you that they're already on their way to send you this justice in your life. The scales need to be balanced because something is going on. You're going to have victory over your enemies. Comment below. I will have victory over my enemies. Okay, I'm going to write that down.
All right. Something about Superman here. Kryptonite. They're trying to find your kryptonite, your weakness. Because they know you're like a superhero. Like I said, you have powers. Yeah, they're watching you. There could also be like a couple here, a married couple watching you. Um, they're trying to bring like confusion, drama, fights into your life. If you find yourself arguing more than often. Okay, but we got judgment again. Somebody's about to get karma here. There's an ancestor watching you. They're watching people spy on you. Because you could be an influencer in the public eye or just a healer. Star seed here is coming below. I am a star seed. I am a healer. But you're shining. And that's why, again, the, the star also speaks about a wish fulfillment. For whatever reason, justice favors you. And you're getting a wish. Something big. This is a very big wish here. Something you might have even prayed about. I'm hearing don't lose hope. Okay? But you are a star and a healer here. Let's see what else wants to come through. Yeah, you see how Archangel Michael here has the sword? It's like truth. The truth shall set you free. Thorns. Yeah, like right now you're like, you're going through a lot of spiritual warfare and a lot of challenges. But, you know, Archangel Michael, your ancestors, everybody in, in your spiritual team, honestly, is like, listen, you're about to have a whole new beginning. Okay, there's about to be a lot of positive things going on in your life. But I, I could tell you have been suffering, especially through this spell work that they've been trying to do. See, you have thorns, right? But now you got a celebration coming. There's celebration, and it says you're ready to bring new and exciting things into your life. You're about to be able to use this gift or this mystical power that's within you. Or the universe is going to grant you a gift in the form of a wish of something. And you're going to be celebrating or being celebrated for. Yeah, I'm getting the, the, the sun is rising. See, there's the key. This is a whole new beginning. Could be you getting your new house, getting new wisdom, opening a new door. But you have a lot of luck. Okay, green speaks of heart chakra and abundance. So definitely money coming through. Someone's birthday here could be on 519, 528, 531. February 8, February 19. But you got a snake here, right? You got snakes. This is spirit telling you again. You're, don't worry about these snakes, even though you could feel them trying to cause harm to you. Now it's the time for you to receive this luck, this abundance, this blessings, this justice, this wish, fulfillment that it's yours. Everything and more too. They, they're going to want to watch you now. It says your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path, but be careful. You, got, you could also be dreaming of snakes. Let me know in the comments below who is dreaming of snakes. Okay. But I feel like you are somebody that's very strong. And because you remain optimistic, you kept your faith about something. This is why this wish is coming. You remain hopeful, faithful, no matter what you were going through. And that's that that's that's dope. You dope. <laughs> but with the snake here, I feel like you're awakening an ancient gift of healing powers, which reminds me of a reading I did like weeks ago. Check that out. You need to be careful is, is another message that comes through because there's a new beginning, but there's going to be people that are going to cause challenges, okay? Mountains spent, assembles obstacles, challenges, protection, but it's like you're being protected through all of this, but clearly there's a lot of malice and enemies around you that want to steal this gift, that want to steal this wish, that want to steal these powers. Or just this new beginning in your life. It's like they don't want you to have anything. They don't want you to be chosen. They don't want you to be happy. They want you to be struggling. To be crying. To be suffering. But comment below, I rebuke whatever the enemy has planned for me. I was not born to suffer. Okay? Don't, don't think that we was. Don't get brainwashed. There's a proposal coming through, okay? If somebody has been stopping you from finding love 
or work or business i feel like you know your ancestors are bringing you justice about that the ten of pentacles is on the bottom you're getting your inheritance you're getting the money that you deserve okay but this also speaks about family so there's something again that has been passed down your bloodline it doesn't just have to be money this could be something in abundance like i said powers or uh money health <clears throat> it's being passed down to you but they were blocking it and spirit says that's the truth that's the truth but you are protected by angels this high priest this high priest is being protected and your home is protected i feel like somebody here is about to get a new home because something happened to your old one it could have been something that happened where you were living something that was a revelation to you something that was quite shocking you felt like somebody was doing spell work to your house Okay, you could have been actually like seeing gardens. I mean, seeing snakes in your gardens. Like literally you found something like a voodoo doll. You found some item here around your house. Or you felt it around your marriage or anything that you celebrated in your life. But if you feel this is your message, I recommend you book a personal reading with me so you can get more accurate information regarding your specific situation. You can go to my website at majigatthetea.com because I really feel like you need some extra uh, information. But to end it on a good note here, let's see. Um, overall message is you're getting a wish fulfillment. You definitely have enemies around you. Your ancestors are speaking about it. We got beautiful and beauty. I feel like you're going through a glow up, okay, no matter what. You're going through a glow up. You're going to start to see beautiful things, experience beautiful things, feel beautiful. And look, we got family. Okay. I also feel like your family envies you because you're beautiful or you have a beautiful soul or you're physically, spiritually, whatever, beautiful. Comment below. I am beautiful. And they can't take that from me. But I really feel like um, your kids are protected. Somebody comment below. My kids are protected. My family is protected. Because somebody here is definitely trying to do something evil here. Be careful of those close friendships too. All right. Yeah, you're you're being freed. You're being freed. You're about to get into this energy of having good times. Having good times. You have all the protection you need. Somebody comment below. I have all the protection you good I need. Good times are on its way to me. Like that's literally what you're about to experience now. So that's what spirit wanted you to know. Things are about to get beautiful. Somebody comment below. Some things are about to get beautiful. I'm really feeling this message for somebody, okay? And they're about to receive judgment, like I told you. That's it. They're about to be set to the fire. They're about to know what hell is going to feel like. Hell on earth. They're about to feel that. Because they want to die for you. All right? And you don't deserve that. You're a good soul. But you're under spiritual warfare. I am being guided to pull one more from here. Yeah, there we go. We got ancient knowledge. You have gifts. You have ancient knowledge. Like I said, there's been something ancient, an ability that has been passed down from your ancestors. And, and you know it's in your DNA. They know it and they don't want it. Wow, cult leader. Somebody comment below, Maji got the tea. Look at that, cult leader. I told you there's a cult leader here that is trying to take away some of your powers. They're being manipulative and persuasive around other people because they want control over you. Something about candles here. Are you lighting candles and you're seeing weird things happening or whatever? I really feel like there's enemies setting candle work but, uh, with intentions, okay? Towards you. Alcohol. <clears throat> They're using spirits here, okay? They're even, like, making sure that, yeah, they're trying to, like, also attack your lovers or make sure that um, toxic lovers in your life come back. I said this is witches, they're jealous that you are meant to be a teacher using your spiritual experiences and spiritual gifts for the world. But you have a spiritual team here that's saying, listen, you're a warrior of the light. Somebody come below. I am a warrior of the light. So you got spirit guides, ancestors all over this. I'm telling you, whatever you're going through, just know that they're going to pay that karmic debt. And you already paid all your karmic debt. So that is the message here. I highly recommend somebody gets more information on this, but trust your own intuition. Sending you so much love, light, and protection. Thank you, Maji Gang. Peace.